goalkeeper. Letting one of Fever's best today, without a doubt. Uh oh. Ball with the goal attack. To be honest, my first thought was, I think this is what I think it is, um, and was hoping that it wasn't. I looked down at my knee, hoping that it might have been, you know, just a dislocation of the patella or something like that, and quickly just popped the kneecap back in. But um, obviously, when I looked down and that was still in place, I thought, yeah, I think, I think that was the pop that everyone talks about. But I obviously wasn't 100% sure. Um, and then obviously the pain came, and and it was quite excruciating. But um, yeah, it, it's, I think my first thought was like, I think that's it. So um, I'm a really positive person and obviously believe things happen for a reason. And at, the, at this point in time, I have no idea why it, why it happened, but I'm sure I'll reflect in whether it's a week, a month or a year's time and go, yep, I'm, I know that's why it happened and I'm a better person and player for it. I'm the worst supporter and I'm the worst person to sit on the sideline. I hate missing out on everything. So I will have the worst FOMO, fear of missing out on anything with anything with the girls. So I know that I'll have to be, I'll probably be annoying them more the fact that I'm not playing with them than when I was playing because I want to know, oh, what's happening here and what's, what's doing there. But I'll obviously be at every training session I possibly can. I still want to be very, um, you know, involved with the, with the girls. I'll, I'll be cheering at every home game I possibly can and, and we'll be right behind them. And if they need anything I said, you know, I'm always here for a phone call because I know there'll be a time that I need them. So I, I really want to be behind them and supporting them as well. I know along the way it's going to be really challenging and there'll be times that I'll get really frustrated and I'll get really angry um, but I know that I've got an incredible support network with my family, my husband um, and the whole netball community that have been so behind me since this announcement's been, been made and I know that some of those messages in my times of need I'll be able to draw some strength and courage from that so I, as I said I know it's going to be a long one but um, I'm, I'm up for the challenge and I know I've just got to stay positive and, and keep my mind to the job. Yeah, oh, we've, we've spoken about obviously there'll be milestones along the way and you're right, I'm very process driven. So once I've got the process in place, I should be fine. Um, but obviously the goal is first round next year, 2016. And, and with the competition starting maybe that little bit later, that obviously gives me that little bit of time to be ready for round one. So um, I'm hoping by the end of the year, well, at the start of next year, when the team for the Vixens gets rolling again, I'll be out there doing pre-season and I'll just be like one of the normal players back out there doing the job that they need to be doing.